Hello everyone, let's discuss computable functions. First, let's discuss some observations and notation. One observation is that given a URM program P, there is some index N, a natural number, such that all registers RI for I greater than N are left unchanged by P. Now, let P be a URM program and let A1 to AK be natural numbers. Then P of A sub 1 to A sub K with an up arrow means that if A1 to AK followed by zeros is the initial configuration, then P does not stop. Given B a natural number, P of A sub 1 to A sub K down arrow B means if A1 to AK followed by zeros is the initial configuration, then P does stop, and when it does, the final configuration is B followed by B2, B3 for some B2, B3 in the natural numbers. Now, let's discuss partial and total functions. Given K a natural number greater than one, we say that F from the natural numbers to the power K to the natural numbers is a partial function from the natural numbers to the K to the natural numbers if f is a function such that domain of f is some subset of the natural numbers to the k and such that f of x bar is in the natural numbers for each x bar in the domain of f. If it is defined everywhere on the natural numbers to the k, we say that f is a total function. Next, let's define computable functions. Let k be a natural number is greater than 1 and let f from the natural numbers to the k to the natural numbers be a partial function. We say that f is urm computable or just computable if and only if there's a urm program p such that for each a1 to ak in the natural numbers to the k p of a1 to ak up arrow if a1 to ak is not in the domain of f and P of A1 to AK down arrow F of A1 to AK if A1 to AK is in the domain of F. In that case, we say that P computes F. Then let's define the characteristic function. Let S be a subset of the natural numbers to the K be a predicate for some K in the natural numbers greater than one. The function C sub S goes from the natural numbers to the K to the natural numbers and is defined by letting C sub S of X1 to XK equal one if X1 to XK is in S and CS of X sub one to X sub K is equal to zero if X sub one to X sub K does not appear in S. And we call this function the characteristic function of S. Following on, let's define decidability. Given S is a subset of the natural numbers to the K, a predicate for some K in the natural numbers greater than one, we say that S is decidable or a decidable predicate or a decidable subset if and only if C sub S is computable. Otherwise, we say that S is undecidable. And as ever, thank you for watching.